Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the next iteration of Try Something New. So Modern Warfare 3 is being put to bed, at least on my Xbox, in a few weeks when Black Ops 6 comes out. Now, a lot of people have said, oh, Modern Warfare 3 is stale, and a title can't get stale unless you let it get that way. There are a plethora of possible combinations. Would you say I have a plethora of piñatas? A what? A plethora. Oh, yes. For your weapon to keep things exciting. One of them just came off a buff. The P890 handgun. The OG Modern Warfare 2 P890. Now, I remember in Modern Warfare 2, this being a hip shot machine. Take a look at the buff. Damage, damage. Increase, increase. I mean, it is absolutely astounding what they've done to the damage with this weapon. Sure, the range has been cut 50%, but that's not going to affect us because we're going to be up close, in your face, shoddy type distances, and even for Further than that, the damage is enough to keep you alive. So let's take a look at the configuration. First, I start with the Bruin Express trigger. And I know some people in Modern Warfare 2 said, you don't need this trigger. Who cares what you need? It's cool. None of the other triggers are actually all that awesome. What it does increases the fire rate 24%, giving you about, what, six shots per second? Now, is your finger that fast? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't but certainly you're going to be able to spray the lead out there when you're hip firing. And while we're looking at this, let's look at the damage. Headshot, 118. Did you see that? 118 to the head, 76 to the upper torso, 67 to the lower torso, upper legs are 59. That means, first of all, two-shot kill with the head, which is entirely possible. Upper torso, a little more than two shots, as well as the lower torso. But if you're going against a damaged enemy, one-shot kills are probably going to abound. Effective damage range, you can see this is a composite from all the attachments I've hung on this weapon. 5.3 meters minimum damage range, 23.6 meters. Bullet velocity is 285 meters, making the hit scan range about 14 meters. So anything out to 14 meters is going to be like a hit scan weapon. Rate of fire, we've already gone over 352. Maybe you can get there, maybe you can't. Recoil is non-applicable because we're going to be hit shooting. Now, if there's an enemy at range, I will hold up, aim down the sight, and gack a mole the enemy. Hip fire. Look at the accuracy. 1.1 degrees per second. Mobility is okay at 4.8 meters per second. We're not going to crouch. Sprint speed, 5.6. So we can get around the map. ADS movement speed, 3.2 meters per second. ADS speed, we don't care about, so we can load up some time on that. But look at the sprint to fire speed, 80 milliseconds. Reload in only 2.6 seconds. The 12 round mag, that's a must. It slows us down a bit, but still we're lightning fast. Absolutely quick with this weapon. All we're doing is hip firing. You must have the 12 rounds because you'll run out of ammunition almost immediately. The Matuzic Cottonmouth Barrel. Now, we have a lot of cottonmouth snakes in my yard and running around this island where I live, so I felt this one would be quite a stinger. It would be venomous on the enemy. And you can see that the damage range was extended by 15% as the minimum damage range and the bullet velocity. Yes, it impacts mobility, handling just a little bit. That's the big dig on the ADS speed. But once again, we don't care. We're hip firing. Takes the hip fire spread down to 1.1 degrees per second helps with the recoil again we don't care the x10 sidearm l400 laser hit fire spread down 21 percent that's why we hung the thing on there and if you take a look hit fire accuracy hit fire control there are no cons for this and i didn't notice the thing when i was running around so it's a pretty safe laser to hang on there you know grandpa usually doesn't like lasers because it leads the enemy back to this handsome cherubic face and finally the bruin rsh 80 grip and that helps with the sprint to fire speed a little bit with the ads we don't care about the recoil so let's go into the shooting range and see if we can yeah you can see the laser there but it's a pencil that's distance there we gacked him but what about up close Ooh, fast as fast can be. I mean, that thing is slick. 
So, speaking of Slick, let's take Slick Grandpa out onto the field of honor. See what the hip shot did for him. See what it did to the enemies. They gacked him quick. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. One of the new shipment maps. I think that's the arena. All you need to do, and I think I pulled the trigger faster from the hip shot mode. Now, sometimes you, 12 rounds, you may have to switch weapons. Starting out behind, but you, Grandpa's going to soak as much as he can, cap as much. And I feel really confident carrying this weapon. See this guy there, Special Forces, he's mounted to the side of a plywood wall as if that's going to provide protection. We got the wrestling Pro and a Mosquito Drone. So you can see, you can aim down sight and get kills too, if you can hit the guy. All right, there's wrestling Pro. Following, pulling the trigger. And it's especially, the setup is especially satisfying against those dual shoddies, the dual reclaimers that everybody's using. Everybody is using those things and running around. Is that the wrestling Pro? No, that was one of our guys. So Grandpa's on the hunt, and he gets taken out by a missile. Always change. Always go somewhere to change your magazine out. Maybe somebody wants to hold a thermite wrestling pro's gone. There's, I don't know, Halloween costume dude. Purple Veiled Nun. I mean, there's all kinds of people to gack back here. And if you get up close, they're going. And if they're damaged at all, and I'm not talking about emotionally damaged, because probably most anybody that would wear skins like that is emotionally damaged. I th if they're physically damaged, then it's going to be a one-shot gack. Almost guaranteed. But you can throw out the lead, that's for sure. You know what the fighter pilot says. As long as there's lead in the air, there's hope. Also, thermite kind of helps, too. Grandpa's going to soak a little bit, get the point back. What's going on here? Nobody hiding. Ooh, how about hold that? How about you get gacked? This is a very fun weapon. And I get gacked trying to throw out the cluster mine. I mean, I had more fun with this. In fact, towards the end of the COD cycles for each title, I just build weapons that I didn't use during the cycle. And I find that they're extremely powerful. Okay, I didn't quite get the guy on that one. This is a powerful setup. Almost a one shot. There's one headshot. You can see I went through the guy there. There's a du quick double kill with 12 rounds just pulling the trigger. And like I said, when it's at the hip, I tend to be able to pull it a little bit faster. Maybe it's just me. All right, we're going to soak there for a second and get by the farm, I guess. Throw out a little trophy system we've got in the lead. We're building on it. There's the next victim. And 3.2 meters per second side to side seems to be enough, especially when you're close. That's going to seem like it's forever bouncing off the walls just based on the geometry of the whole thing. Look at there. We got that Muppet. Somebody's Muppeting. Grandpa's going to... Clear it off, Rasslin' Pro. Oh, oh my gosh. So I think the next video, they also buffed the uh, Lockwood, is it? 890, the shotgun. So we can have a shoddy 890 and a pistol 890. We're going to see how they do together. Maybe come up with a game like 20 kills each. See if we can get to that. 40 Gax in a game. 20 with the pistol, 20 with the shoddy. The pistol's going to be easy to get. Shoddy, I'm not so sure about. There's another quick double kill. Tommy Chong thought he'd get away. 
Ain't gonna happen. Rashlin Pro, Tommy, I'm telling you, we're gacking everybody. We have absolutely no hesitation. Everybody can have a bullet from us. We're very, very giving in that way. Well, that guy sniffing his toes, another toe sniffer. And he's got a buddy that's covering up for him. Somebody in a white bathrobe on my team. There's a dual shoddy. Telling you, let me know if you try this out, how it works for you, or if you improved it in any way. But I'm telling you, this is a gacamole machine. You're serving chips with a gacamole with this weapon. Ah, Grandpa gets the final kill. There's one, and Rasslin Pro is going to be two. Let me know how it works for you. As always, I appreciate you watching. A like and subscribe would be outstanding. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.